that practically is combined with the help of modern 3D part we can do assembly. The input file of assembly is a solid model. So second and third practical will make it as combined. For that, first of all, open Creo Parametric 4.0. Then select working directory. Click the location where you are going to save all the 3D model parts. I am saving in SMD folder. Select that folder. Click on OK. Click on New to create a new model. So we are going to model the 3D part. So click on Part. If we are going to assemble that 3D parts, then click on Assembly. First, click on Part. Name that part as a flange because we are going to draw a flange coupling. You can see here the flange coupling, assembly of flange coupling. And here are the views with dimensions, dimensions and views of flange coupling, uh, flange. Next dimension and view of bolt, front view and side view. Next dimension and view of nut, front and side view with all dimensions. So we are going to model three parts, flange, bolt and nut. So name first part as a flange. Uncheck use default template box. OK. We will make it as a flange one. OK. Default dimensions are in inch, but we want in mm. So select the template mmns part solid. Dimensions are in mm, load in newton, and time in seconds. Next click OK. On working area, you can see three planes. Front plane, top plane, and right plane. French coupling, the part of French coupling, we can draw front view and we will extrude with this length. So select front plane, click sketch, sketch view, draw two center lines, horizontal center line vertical center line after that select the outer circle outer circle having the dimension diameter of 220 mm so select circle command go to the center just move cursor outside press mouse button 3 and the diameter of outer circle as a 220 Next, okay. Now we will extrude just move in 3D plane and click on sketch. Okay, extrude the length of extrusion we see here as a 25 mm. Just click here 25, enter. You can see here. Width of plate is 25 mm. Click OK. Now select any face. We will select this face. Sketch. Sketch view. Now draw this portion of pipe having the diameter of 124 mm and the inner diameter 100 mm as a hole. Okay, now click circle, draw circle, mouse button 3, diameter 124 mm, okay, sketch okay, again go in 3D view, extrude, the diameter of ex uh, the extrusion length is 125 mm, make it as 125, enter, okay, you can see here. Yeah. Okay, now we want hole of 100 mm diameter here. So select the surface, sketch, sketch view, click on circle, draw a circle of any dimension, mouse button 3, make it as a 100 mm, 
stage ok go to 3d view extrude it is extruding in this direction but we want in opposite direction so click this arrow you will show hole here but we want throughout hole so click here up to next surface extrude up to next surface then the throughout hole will appear in the flange now click ok ok now we have to do uh, draw these six holes having the diameter of 20 mm and the position is 192 pitch circle diameter that means we have to do first of all the construction circle of 192 pitch circle diameter and on which we have to draw these six holes ok now select this surface sketch sketch view first of all make it as a construction mode select on circle click to the center and draw construction circle mouse button 3 ok this is radius we have to make it as a diameter here this is diameter make it as a 192 ok now construction mode is off select circle zoom over here draw hole mouse button 3 diameter of 20 mm sketch ok go to 3d mode you can see here green sketch of hole now extrude it extrude in opposite direction the hole should be throughout so extrude up to next surface ok you can see here hole in the similar way we can draw six holes these six holes but this is time consuming to save the time we can pattern it ok for that go to pattern we want circular pattern so click over here make it as a axis select axis you can see four black dots by default there will be four holes but we want six so first of all make it six number of holes as six and angle 360 divided by six the angle will be 60 okay you can see here the position of six holes and click ok you can see here a flange having six holes at 192 pitch circle diameter of 20 mm diameter ok now save this part go to file save ok now close this part click now we have to model a bolt having hexagonal head so first of all we go to view click on new part bolt uncheck default template ok mmns part solid ok again front plane sketch sketch view see here first of all we have to draw a hexagon having two sides parallel and the distance between two parallel sides is 35 mm so go to the option palette here it is showing go to polygons polygon, polygon having six sides just drag and draw here close this window click the center of hexagon and put it put on center of two center lines just move little bit sketch ok now with the help of constraint coincident this coincident constraint we can make this point and this center line as a coincident 
so click coincident constraint this point and this line you can see here okay now we want the distance between two parallel side 35 mm go to dimension click first center line second center line you go downward and click mouse button 3 the unwanted dimension here as 62.92 and we want to edit 108 as a 35 so delete first of all 62.92 here click on 62.92 delete then it it, it is editable as a 35 mm make it 35 stage ok you can see here hexagonal head but the width of hexagon head is 15 mm so extrude it 15 mm ok extrusion completed after that select this surface sketch sketch view we have to draw the shank portion of bolt having length total length from top side of hexagonal head to the bottom side of shank total is 105 by subtracting 15 mm head we, we have shank portion as a 90 mm and the diameter of shank portion is 20 mm ok now go to circle click on circle draw circle mouse button 3 make dimension as a 20 mm of shank click ok just move in 3d view you can see here in green, green color just extrude it extrude in 90 mm ok you can see here ok after that the head corners are sharp but you can see here here is a chamfer or fillet but the dimension is not given but on this view you can see the dotted line for chamfer we will draw select this face sketch sketch view click on circle draw a circle of any dimension mouse button 3 now next we will use tangent constraint click on tangency make this circle and this line as a tangent click ok just move in 3d view ok now extrude extrusion is in this, this direction but we want we want to remove the material from the circle outer, out, in outer direction of circle so first of all click on remove material click in inner direction outer direction go to the option click on add taper taper of 60 degrees but the taper, is, taper will be in inner direction so uh, inner direction plus click, click it as a minus ok you can see here taper click ok in this way we have model a bolt hexagonal header bolt then save it go to the file click on save ok now close this window now we will model nut hexagonal headed nut say in the same way uh, likewise we have draw the hexagonal headed bolt but here is shank portion and here is for nut there is a hole of diameter 20 ok same two sides vertical distance between two sides is 34.6 and hole of 20 mm diameter so click new part modeling part is as a part as a nut rename it uncheck use default template ok mmns part solid ok now again go to front view sketch sketch view go to palette six sided just drag and drop here close the window pick the center of hexagon and put at the center of 
two center lines just move little bit click ok make it coincident this top center point and this line click ok ok dimension is two vertical line is 34.6 go to the dimension click first vertical line second vertical line go downward mouse button 3 delete this 62.92 then second will be editable as a 34.6 ok now go to circle draw circle make it as a 20 mm click ok now go in 3d view just extrude it the length of extrusion is 20 mm but on bolt the chamfer is at one side but in nut chamfer is on both side if we will extrude this symmetric with the symmetric of plane then uh, we can mirror the chamfer on another side also so extrude by 20 mm but you can see here from this plane this is this 25 extrusion will happen but if we go here and make it extrude on symmetric both side you can see here from the plane it is symmetric 10 10 mm total 20 mm click on ok again click this surface sketch sketch view click on circle draw circle of any diameter next go to tangency constraint make circle and this line as a tangent click ok go to 3d mode extrude extrusion in opposite direction remove material extrusion in outer direction photo options add taper taper of minus 60 degree for outer side plus 60 for inner side so make it as a 60 degrees you can see here in yellow color jumper will happen click ok the jumper is on one side but we want on another side also so we can make it as a mirror from the center front plane ok so click on mirror click center plane click ok automatically the jumper from both side you can see here jumper on one side and jumper on another side on both side jumper will happen in this way we will model hexagonal nut now save it click on file save ok now close this window in this way we have modeled the parts of flange coupling now go to the folder location on which we have saved you can see here click bolt just see here this is bolt this is flange this is hexagonal all parts are here okay thank you